Hello and welcome to Cyber Cafe. Today we are going to discuss the popular scanning tool Nmap. We will cover everything from scanning, finding vulnerabilities, and exploiting those vulnerabilities. Don't worry if you are a beginner, this video is for you. So get your coffee and be ready as I take you through a quick tutorial on one of the most powerful tools in your cybersecurity arsenal. Let's start by answering the most important question. What is Nmap? Nmap stands for Network Mapper. Nmap is a free open source utility for network discovery. Nmap is a powerful network scanning tool that can be used to scan for ports, identity, computers, services, uh, operating systems, and even finding vulnerabilities. To simplify it for you, let me give you an example of what Nmap can do for you. At your home, you have your own network and you have some devices that is connected to your private network. Some of it might be laptops, computers, TVs, or any other smart devices connected to your private network. With Nmap, you can simply run some commands and it will show you every device connected to your network. And it will give you in-depth details about every single device connected to your network. After this quick intro, it is time now to show you how I will use Nmap in my private lab to find some vulnerabilities and exploit it. We will start with some basic commands, find some vulnerabilities, and then we will exploit it together. I will also show you how to use Nmap script engine or what is known as NSE. All right, so first let's start with the disclaimer before we dive in. This video is for educational purposes. Remember that you are not allowed to use Nmap unless you are authorized to do so. Personally, I will be performing the scan and the exploitation against the machine I have in my virtual box, which you can download online. If you don't have any machine that you can use to perform Nmap and to practice Nmap, please let me know and I will make a video of how to install Metasploitable 2, which is this machine that I will be using today. This machine, it's good for practice. It has a lot of vulnerabilities and we will see it today so you can practice penetration testing. However, if you don't want to download anything and you still want to perform Nmap legally without having any issues, if you go to the Nmap website, it's called scanme.nmap.org. As you see in here, they are authorizing you to do some scans but they have some conditions. If you see in here, they say a few scans in a day is fine, but don't scan 100 times a day or use the site to test your SSH brute force password. So guys, just be careful. You don't want to be in trouble. All right, so let's start now with Nmap. All you need to do with Nmap is to be familiar with their commands and you don't have to memorize all the commands. With practicing with using Nmap, you will be using couple commands many times. You can also find many cheat sheets online that you can download and you can use while performing Nmap. All right, so first I wanna start with some basic commands just to show you how Nmap works. So let's say that I wanna run what's called stealth scan and I wanna run it to find the 1000 common ports. So I will do dash S capital S, then I will put the IP that I just saw for the machine and hit enter. As you see in here, it was fast. It gave me all the ports that is open. We have FTP port, we have SSH, we have Telnet, SMTP, domain, HTTP, etc. So this is the ports that we have. All right, so let's keep going with the commands first and after that, we will start doing some exploitation. So the second command, let's say that you wanna run a fast scan. So for example, uh, Nmap, capital F, this will run a fast scan uh, if you have a big network and you want to find devices with vulnerabilities and all that stuff. You can also run it against the host and this is what we're doing today. We are targeting one host. Hit enter. As you see, it's fast and we have the ports again. It's the same ports that we had before. All right. So what other scans that we can use with Nmap? There is another scan. So if you do dash capital O and after that you put the IP address 
this is to detect the operating system so if you look in here all we have is just ports right but if you scroll down you will find also that it gave you an operating system so we know that it's running linux and we know even the version so why this is helpful because when you know what's the operating system you can look up some vulnerabilities and you can try exploiting let's try another thing as you see in here this is the services right okay but I want to see what's the version so i know they are running ftp i know that they are running ssh and and other services but i want to know the version what's the version because that will narrow our search and will give us a better idea of how to find vulnerabilities i'll do nmap dash s v and the same i'll do the ip address hit enter and now it will be looking for the services plus it's going to show me the versions now this is different if you see in here that's the service and that's it this is where it's up it just gave us the the ports and the service if you look down here you will see that ftp and this is the version so we have the version for everything and this is where you can look and find vulnerability because now you have more information even for mysql we also have the version all the scans that we have been doing it's tcp scans so what if i want to find if they have any udp what I will simply do is to write in map dash s capital U and after that the IP address. However, I know this type of scan will take long. Is there any other way that we can use for any scan to have it either faster or slower? Yes, there are. So what are we gonna do is we're gonna do dash T and there are numbers. Starts from zero, which is very slow, goes all the way to five which is aggressive and faster the default is three so how does that work the way that work is that when you have it aggressive uh, that means it will go really fast it's so aggressive it's noisy but in the same time it's not accurate so as fast as you go um, you will kind of sacrifice the accuracy of the scan for this tutorial I'll do it five because I know that uh, it will take long to find the ports another thing to mention when you do scan that will take really long time how would you know if in map is actually working or you are just wasting your time there is a simple trick that I use personally you can just hit the space on your keyboard and it will tell you how far the scan is it says it's about 53 done if i hit space one more time 57 this is really useful because there have been times where i'm doing the scan waiting forever and i'm like oh no there is something wrong it's not working and yeah it wasn't actually working so keep that in mind all right so now the scan is done uh, we see that we have a udp port open let's do the scan one more time but i'll i'll change it to t3 it will take more time but let's see if that gonna make a difference so let's see if we gonna have find more ports or we won't find anything at both are the same all right so i had to pause the video because the scan took some time look at the results right here we have more ports that it's showing even though it says um open filtered but we still have more ports that it's showing and this is the previous scan it shows only one port so that tells you that when you go with a faster scan you might be sacrificing uh, the accuracy of the scan one of the useful commands to use is that to save the results of your scan into another text file so we're gonna start with writing in map dash sv 10.0.2.4 so exactly what we did uh, previously but the only one different will be that we're gonna do dash o capital n after that i will drag this folder that i created that's called scan and i did that just because i want the file that i'll create to be here i'm gonna do slash scan dot text enter now it will be running the scan and whenever the scan is done i'll find it in this folder as you see in here we already have it if i open it this is the scan so we have it on the terminal as well as as a file in our folder so now let me talk to you a little bit about nmap script engine what is nmap script engine if you go to this website this is the nmap scripts you can use the scripts and you can even create your own script this script is really powerful and i will show you how we can use it to even find more vulnerabilities uh, this is the categories if you want you have two options you can go and run the specific script you want or you can run the whole category so how can we do that to do that 
all you need to do is to write any map dash dash script and after that you write the category name which is Vong from vulnerability and then you can put the IP address and you hit enter uh, I'm not gonna do that right now because that will take a really long time let's try by performing the scan using one of the scripts that we have here so what script to choose if we see in here we know that they have FTP right so let's find an FTP script that we can use this is FTP this is FTP and this is FTP backdoor you can choose whatever you want but if you look here it says FTP VSFTPD if we go back to our scan this is VSFTPD right so that will look if this is vulnerable or not let's go ahead and run this scan so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do we just write the exact script name so it's gonna be FTP dash VSFTPD dash backdoor then with the IP address and we hit enter and now we're gonna wait for the results so that was fast because we only chose one script and we specified what we want so when we looked for the vulnerability look what it says in here it says the port 21 FTB it is vulnerable and give us the version and I'll show you how to exploit it in a second and it gives us even more information and here it tells you when it was reported as a vulnerability it even gives you some some references so if you want to go and read more about it and here it even gives you the exploit so it tells you that if you go to github for me to exploit there is an exploit that you can use to exploit this vulnerability so as you see this script is very very helpful let's run another scan using another category let's do with the authentication i want inmap to go and look for me if there is any authentication that we can find i will run the whole category in a state of only one so let's go ahead it will take some time but i'll pause the video so we're gonna do in map then we're gonna do script auth from authentication then we're gonna do 10.0.2.4 and we hit enter all right so this scan is done if we see in here that it, it gave us more information about the ssh uh, the telnet is open and we knew that from the first scan that we did and in here apache tomcat at manager html so it gave us this link and if you realize in here it talks about the username and the password so now let's copy manager html and we see that the port is 8180 so first let's start with the host so it's 10.0.2.4 and 8180 that's what we have right and after that we're gonna do the slash manager HTML and we hit enter and there you go it's actually open so we have admin we already accessed and when we click on admin we're just gonna do tomcat tomcat which is the credentials we got from nmap and we are in so as you see nmap is really powerful if you know the commands that you use uh, you can get a lot of stuff with nmap all right so now we're done with this vulnerability that's one of the exploits that we just did real quick it didn't even take us a long time to do one of the other useful commands that you can use is you do nmap dash v dash and 10.0.2.4 this basically instead of the first command that we did in the beginning of the video scanning the most common ports uh, that tell the nmap to scan all the ports and find whatever port open. What about MySQL? Let's try and export MySQL. In some cases, you don't really need to put a password, you just need the username and it will open with you. Let's try and connect to MySQL and see if that's gonna work with us. As I mentioned before, there are many things that you will be trying manually, you will try to exploit it, and map is just an idea of what's going on in that host. We're gonna try MySQL right now. I'll do MySQL and the user will be root. Uh, the password i'll leave it empty and the host will be 10.0.2.4 i'm gonna hit enter so it says enter password i'm just gonna hit enter and we'll see it is vulnerable i didn't need to specify password and i'm already in let's see their database what database they have so we do show databases enter 
and there you go we already have all the databases that they have uh, that's the first exploit done you already exploited the system another thing let's find another exploit i know that they have ftp right one of the things that we can do we can run a script to see if the ftp anonymous login is acceptable or not and this is one of the vulnerabilities that you might find with ftp not all the time it's rare to find but when you do capture the flags and some challenge you might find it all the time so if you go here i believe it's in the authentication yes so if you see in here check if an ftp server allow anonymous logins i know that they have the ftp open so let me see if they allow me to log in with just anonymous I'm gonna do nmap script after that i'm gonna do the ftp script and i'm gonna put my host uh, before the host i'm gonna put the port so the port is 21 then let me do the host 10.0.2.4 enter there you go so it says that anonymous ftp login is allowed let's see if we can actually exploit it right gonna go back here clear i'm gonna do ftp 10.0.2.4 enter the username we say it, it's gonna be anonymous right anonymous and now the password anonymous okay login successful we already in we already exploited the vulnerability uh, as you see guys we already in uh, we didn't need to put any username and password we just write anonymous for the username anonymous for the password and we already in right okay so now let's go into a heavier exploitation using uh, meet exploit so i know meet exploit is not in the scope of this video but this is one of the things that i will show you how powerful in map can get especially when you find the service and the version of the service one more time i'm gonna go now to my scan that i created before this ftp we know that it's vulnerable because even when we run the vulnerability scan if you see in here it says 2.3.4 is vulnerable all right i want to exploit this vulnerability what can i do i'm gonna start a new terminal and i'm gonna start meet exploit all right so now let me try and find if we have any payloads that we can use so i'm gonna just copy the version right copy and i'll do search and there you go we have an exploit we have a payload and if you remember in, in map it also gave us that there are some payloads that we can use and meet exploit so what we'll be doing right now i want to use this one because it matched the version that i'm looking for the rank it says that it's excellent and it's 2011 exactly what we got from in map that this is the vulnerability and the backdoor command execution so i'll do use zero now i am using this payload so i'm gonna do show options what I need to change right now, I need to change the our host to the target host and you have the information in here next to it. So I'll just do set our host 10.0.2.4 show options one more time. We already have the host set and we have the port 21, right? So we're just going to do run. Now we are trying to exploit and we will see if it's vulnerable for this exact vulnerability or if it's not. As you see in here, session one opened, it's vulnerable and we already in. So if we write ID, who am I? I'm the root. Show me the file and the folders. Here we have everything. We already exploited the machine. Uh, we can go to any folder we want and we can look around and find whatever we want to find so let's go to the user right so we're gonna do cd user ls there you go we have everything inside the folder user so that was another exploit all right so let's go through what we did today we talked about nmap script and engine we performed nmap scans using different commands and we exploited some vulnerabilities using different methods in the end of this video, if you have any question, please leave a comment and I will be more than happy to answer you. If you like the video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and you have a wonderful day.